Okay, so in this week's video, um, we've got two torque wrenches, and the aim of the game is to turn two into one. So essentially, the head snapped on the other one, and on the Clark one, the spring's gone, so it goes one way, but it doesn't go the other way, and it kind of needs to go the way that it doesn't. So, yeah, it doesn't tighten up, but it undoes, and, yeah, you know what I meant. Anyhow, so what we're going to do, just take both of them apart, nick the spring out of uh, the tool zone one. Once we've nicked the uh, springs out of it, we'll put them in the Clark one, give it a good test, and hopefully jobs are good, because if so, then that's an extremely cheap fix. Right, so we're going to start with the tool zone one. Just going to get the two torque screws that are sat in there out. Once they're out, that should leave it quite open and easy to tear down. So now the front face is off. Just going to grab them springs. and then get them transferred over just trying to be ever so careful not to let it spring out and fly away and we'll also grab the uh, little bits that go with the spring, I can't remember what they're called but yeah we'll grab all that put the screws back in that and put that to one side Okay, so we're just going to do the same again on this side. Uh, take the two torque, uh, well, these are cross head screws out, and then remove the part for the gear and the spring. And oh, it doesn't appear that the spring snapped on this, it appears the actual mechanism itself has. Hmm. Proper job. Oh well, luckily, luckily we pulled the other one from the tool zone one so that's okay we'll just get that out get that cleaned up and pop the new ones in Okay, yeah, what I've had to do is uh, swap both of them over. So it's got the original tool station one in. But I can obviously keep by the looks of it. The original head. So I'm just going to pop the screws back in there. Tighten that up. And then, yeah, we'll give that a good test and make sure that does work. Okay, I've kind of got a makeshift uh, thing set up so I can tighten up a bolt 
Uh, I've set the total range to the lowest setting. I'm just going to see if that clicks when it should. And test it with my known working one as well. But clicked just a second ago, so that feels okay. Yeah, I'd say that's all good, so... Yeah, I'm happy with that, so... I'd say that's the end of the video. Uh, please like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much.